beg you just follow through with me if you believe that i hear god and if you believe we are walking by the spirit i'd like you to pray hallelujah limitation i know a brother listen listen i know a brother that for many years this gentleman was so gifted but i'm telling you nothing was working in his life please hear me this is a true story very gifted but things were tied down hallelujah he did everything did everything that that he knew to do but when god made him know that these things are limitations he took a quality time of his life challenging it and brothers and sisters when he prevailed doors were open it was as if the blessings have left heaven but to now come to this realm and daniel remained in prayer please hear me anything that kills your prayer life has stopped you from your breakthrough it's not the issue of i'm calling to the ministry of prayer or not forget that nonsense that the devil brings men ought always luke 18 1 he spake this parable if you are alive you don't pray because of fear you pray because it's a spiritual transaction it makes things possible in this realm hallelujah we are going to pray one more time and you're going to say lord one more time visit this issue of limitation in my life and my family hallelujah listen listen mention the aspect where you are facing limitation don't feel embarrassed mention them and say lord let your fire come upon it lift your voice and pray koinonia pray pray your way to breakthrough sopata teka repoto bakata sente teke pretekete we lift up an incense of prayer 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 change lives break limits financial limits support intellectual limits Marital limits, job limits, we break it. Sopotopata, we break limitations, business limitations, ministry limitations, limitations of potentials. Hallelujah every time limits are broken the lord will bring a man to hold your hands and create the opportunity for the next level of your life are you hearing what i'm saying bishop oyedeko will say there are days and there are certain days may this night be the certain day listen your next level is in the hands of a certain man the Bible says they wanted to kill Joseph but a certain man came and they said they wanted to buy him. If not because of that certain man, they would have killed him. Are you following me now? The Bible talks about a man who was crippled. He could not carry himself. Certain men, no names, they lifted him and opened the sea. Oh God, whoever is that certain man that must appear in my destiny, I come I compel them to come. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice. Destiny help us. Financial help us. Spiritual help us. Men of influence. Men of access. Sopotoposh. Rokotoposh. Reketetete. Men that will connect us to our next level. Men that will connect us to our next dimension please pray 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 
Lord, we call them forth. Hallelujah. When Jesus died, hear me, the prophet prophesied that his body will not see corruption. But he was hanging on that cross. There was no place to bury him. And a certain man came called Joseph of Arimathea. An influential man. If he was poor and broke, the king would not hear him. The Bible says a poor man's wisdom is despised. You are going to pray concerning your finances. Does it make sense to you to pray? We are going to pray and say, Lord, whoever must appear to change my financial destiny, I receive their ministry. Come on now, pray. Come on now, pray. Support the table. Time and chance happens to them all. Time and chance. Be the Cyrus or a son of the kingdom. Pray. We embrace their ministry. We embrace their ministry. I call them forth. Come on, pray. I call them forth. Men of influence, kings, destiny help us, spiritual help us, financial help us, academic help us. Men of influence, men who can talk to kings. Pray. Hallelujah. Please leave your neighbor. Joseph would have died in the prison. Although anointed, there are many people here, your anointing will remain dormant until God sends a man to see it, announce it, and let the world celebrate it. John the Baptist announced Jesus' ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of us, we have great ideas, great businesses, but there needs to be a certain man who will let the world know that great things are happening here. Please hear what I'm saying. There are many of you, your, your academic qualification is bigger than where you are. You have done your best. When you have done all you need to do, you need another man who is not you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Certain men, certain men. It was the wine presser that told the king, He said, I know my wrongs this day. There is a man, oh, there is a man. Many of us have sharpened our spiritual potentials, you have sharpened your leadership potentials. It's not pride, you know that it's time to break forth, but the distance between you and the next level is that certain man lift up your hands oh god where is this certain man let him come into my life come on pray one more time pray it takes one man to change your business one man to change your ministry one man one man hallelujah listen to me there are many of you here with great business ideas hallelujah all you need is capital you have done everything you should do you need somebody to believe in you enough hallelujah listen truly the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong one man can announce what god is doing in your life and bring to 
your life men who have been designed to honor it I shared that scripture to none of the widows in Israel was a prophet sent God sent that to the one who could see his difference and honor him many of you have been in a place you have potentials for the throne but something is tying you down because you are hanging around people who cannot see what God is doing in your life is God speaking to someone here there are many of our parents with their qualifications they should never have to beg even if, you, if the cost of living on earth is one million per day they should not be begging but they need one man to announce them one man to recommend them please take seriously what I'm saying because this is somebody's prayer request oh Lord if somebody can believe in my business enough to pump even if it's just hundred thousand there are you getting what I'm saying there are many of us in ministry here we are great people this ministry you see today we enjoy recommendations mysterious recommendations while I was coming somebody was trying to call me again and again from the UK and he was saying man of God don't ask me how I got to find out about you and have your number he said when a man is in trouble he will look for help anyhow are you getting my point while you are sitting down to sleep somebody is waking others to talk about you but you must activate it it doesn't happen by magic are you getting what I'm saying there are many professors and doctors being underutilized because there is a system that cannot honor what they carry there are many of you who graduated with excellent results you've even added masters and the king sent for Joseph somebody must send for you to leave the level that you are and I prophesy whoever should send for you in the name that is above all names listen listen there is a man of God a popular man of God I will not mention names the man had the gift of God like whatever but nothing could announce that grace are you hearing what I'm saying people needed his anointing and his gift but nobody could announce it and then something happened one day he entered a taxi true story when he entered the taxi the Holy Spirit told him sow a seed of 30,000 naira to the driver and he didn't have much and he told the driver take and he sowed that seed ah the driver looked at him he said what will I give you he said nothing he said sir can I collect your number and he collected his number please listen to me this is a true story when he collected his number the guy dropped he said talk may God bless you he was feeling bad he did not know that that was his moment of victory listen the very next person that will enter that car listen they were part of the regional organizers of redeem the convention in UK are you getting me one of the regions and then the man was talking as a kite we're looking for a man of God to complete the ministers we are bringing and we need men of integrity you know and the driver said sir there was a man that gave me his number this guy is a true man of God and that was it I'm serious they called him and they said sorry we are from this this region of redeem I tell you they brought that man after that ministration there were so many men of God that he never would have been able to see are you getting my point they all called him and said we'd like you to come and, and minister Mike Mudok met a young man who was very gifted gifted but there was nothing working in his life and Mike Mudok looked at him and came and he said God told me to bless you he wrote 17 letters to different ministries and said this is an anointed man please open doors for him and the guy got 17 invitations everybody it does not take time to change your story what looks like a mountain is in the pocket of another person are you hearing what I'm saying are you tired of praying are you tired of praying because we must call them from I don't want to waste your time let me just share it I don't know if you shared this testimony did you share your testimony Erima? I'm not sure he shared his testimony maybe at an appointed time but let me say a bit of it what ambassador eh? Unilever this come he just came back today we met together at the airport in Abuja and then we came back together 
by the grace of God are you getting my point and by the ministry of just one great man prof hallelujah he has been selected as the ambassador of Unilever Nigeria are you, listen 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 the race is not to the swift they just came back from their training in Lagos and we even bombed I was waiting for my luggage and I just saw him and they had told me he called me in Lagos and he said he was around we never met how God can change a man's story my father worked for more than 10 or 15 years as assistant director of engineering there was no man to lift him his genius were rising and they, they, they just trampled this man and it so happened that one man who used to be his junior he when when we went for crusade in 2006 six years he was the one who interpreted for me and he was also the one who interpreted for Renard Bonke when he came to Joss he was that man on account of the kindness he went and said one or two things about my father and when they went to my father's um, CV and all of that they said where has this man been they said immediately he should leave Joss and report to Lagos he has been there for three years now many of us are praying Lord take me to the next level I'm telling you the secret you need a man hear me there are things you cannot do for yourself you may be anointed but your grace will remain there until a man can announce you may have a great business a multi-million and billion dollar business but it takes one man to believe in you and announce you are you getting my point I know one of my friends he was my classmate very intelligent and brilliant guy this guy finished saw that his education there was nobody to speak for him and this guy kept struggling for years nobody to speak for him and one day I, I prayed I said oh Lord but help this guy this guy has paid the price look when I say I, I think I will classify him as a genius and I'm not telling a lie but I know other people before they even finish service the road has been made plain you need someone in your life please pray and say oh God send this man that can believe in me and announce what you have invested in my life please pray send a man to change my music ministry oh God send a man send a man into my family say lord by the instrument of the prophetic i call forth they that have been destined to take me to the next level to take my family make sure you are praying lord prophetically pray those who will open doors of jobs doors of marriages doors of ministry doors of anointings doors of favor doors of lifting doors of success doors of increase doors of breakthrough make sure you are praying pray it with all your heart your family story can change you have been praying and fasting could this be the message? Could this be the message? Pray. Say, Lord, whether in Lagos or Abuja or Kano or Sanfara, the United States, the Caribbean, by the prophetic power of the Spirit, let there be a connection. Orchestrate a meeting. Let there be a meeting. Pray. Pray. God wants to take you from this level to another is a year of supernatural exploits exploits by the spirit your story can change activate defining moments activate breakthrough in your life come on prophesy grab both short levels i call them they are coming into my life from the north the east the south i pray for e and i destiny help us are coming we receive them we receive them we receive them we receive them hallelujah
let me give you one little story look at me when professor madi was the vice chancellor of amadubelo university many of you did not meet him there was a gentleman who did very well but he did not get admission hallelujah and the guy just went for reasons he could not explain he went and sat down near the senate in the night and professor madi had the culture of walking into students hostels walking around just to see what is going on and when he walked he saw the gentleman and he called him he said why are you sitting down here he said sir look at my work result look at everything but my catchment area is not there and they didn't give me admission he said you are such a brilliant boy do you know what he told him he said go home and pack your load and come back when he came back they had printed his, admi his admission letter this is true it's a confirmed story hallelujah i know about a student who had been victimized for years till he was in 300 level whatever it is that happened either his name or his matriculation number clashed and what this guy was seeing was not his real cgpa this guy would work so hard but when the exams come out he would not be it and then one day someone just came in and for whatever reason the person decided to start cross-checking things the next thing they put on the notice board that they wanted to see him when they called him they said he should go and bring his results and his courses that he registered do you know true life story when they, this guy was uh, maybe around 1.7 something by the time they corrected everything he was supposed to be in two one in all sincerity my cousin my cousin was a student in this school my cousin was a student in this school he wrote a major exam that he got a and when the result came out they gave him f this guy they didn't know he knew that he had he had read but you see sometimes even when you have the evidence you don't have access to the king there are many of us that have evidences that would wipe our night time but that access to the king hallelujah and one day God raised a visiting prof who just came and he just complained and showed him everything. The man took on the case by himself until they rectified it. Look at me for a moment. What do you expect God to do in your life and in your family? It's in the hands of someone. It's in the hands of someone. That breakthrough is in the hands of someone. A house to complete. For your loved ones to go to school let me tell you no matter what it is expand your mind tonight there are men who are carriers of miracles they don't even know there are some of you that your loved ones need some jobs they have been suffering you know that they want to change where they are working or they don't even have a job they are prayed they are applying cv after cv if it is destiny helpers they will accelerate your path you will jump protocols. We are going to pray. Say, Lord, I receive discernment to see these people when they come into my life. Lift up your voice and pray. It takes discernment. It takes discernment. It takes discernment. Say, Lord, let me discern. They may not be my tribe. They may not be my friends. They may be the enemies of our family. But Lord, grace to discern when you are about to use them to change our story. Hallelujah. Final prayer point. Now you are going to pray and speak over your life and tell yourself you are breaking through and breaking forth on the left and right don't keep quiet please don't keep quiet prophesy i break through from the left the right the east the west oh hallelujah i activate breakthroughs i establish it in the name of Jesus, by the spirit of prayer, I contend against every power of darkness. 
Come on, pray. Pray against every satanic force. Pray against every power of darkness that wants to attempt to abort your breakthrough. God wants you to smile. God wants you to smile. God wants you to smile. He wants to encourage you. He wants your life to be fruitful. Satan get lost. Be lifted all ye gates. Let the family of Koinonia receive breakthroughs. I prophesy breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. Breakthrough. Financial breakthrough. Marital breakthrough. Family breakthrough. Academic breakthrough. Spiritual breakthrough. Breakthrough in your job. Let your family members smile. I provoke it from the realm of the spirit. I provoke it from the heavens. I activate the angelic. I activate the angelic. Let angels begin to move to every family. Let angels begin to move over your academic. Angels move over your finances. Angels move over your family. Angels move. I activate the operation of angels. Contend with the powers in the heavens and release breakthroughs for God's people. Let the angelic contend with the powers that delay, that stop people from entering their prophetic breakthrough. I release breakthroughs. I release breakthroughs. I release breakthrough. I speak it in your life. I send an anointing into your life. A breaker anointing. A breakthrough anointing. I send it into your life. I send it into your academics. I send it into your family. I send it into your finances. Those you do not know, I cause them to arise and help you. I cause them to arise and help you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody. Everywhere your gift is needed, I command them to begin to talk about you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I activate breakthrough for you. In the name of Jesus. Everywhere your gift is needed, whoever needs your gift in Nigeria, I stand as a servant of God. I command a connection in the realm of the spirit beginning from tonight 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 in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray for every one of your family members looking for a job my god and my king tonight let testimonies rise from this message no matter how long tonight let someone talk to somebody talk to somebody and talk to somebody and connect them for breakthrough in the name of Jesus for your family members I command help us those who will connect them to projects and contracts and opportunities yes they don't merit it but by the power of destiny help us I connect them to the breakthrough for the next level in the name of Jesus where you have cried academically I connect you to help us professors who will help you admin staff who will help you admin staff who will help you members in the Senate who will help you whether for accommodation whether for your result whether for missing script whether for your wayek whatever it is in the name of Jesus as the Senate and the faculty board members meet over your results and your performance may a strange man enter that meeting and advocate for you in the name of Jesus anywhere they want to turn down your family members or turn down anything let a strange man come 
we don't want to know the name let a strange call come let a strange connection come i prophesy it i release it to you in the name of jesus i release testimonies 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 from this breakthrough experience beginning from tonight i command calls from destiny help us calls from destiny help us calls from destiny help us connections with destiny help us they will travel and come and meet you you will meet them on the street they will come to your homes in the name of jesus you will see them in your dreams god will connect you for every one of your family members that is supposed to be married and they are not married the husbands or the wives they are not in space they are here on earth lord we pray tonight as a family by the power that is in the name of the resurrected christ i pray let help us lead partners to their mates in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus we command supernatural marital connections in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we bind every devil we bind every power that attempts to cause delay we set them free from every curse and every yoke of bondage be released in the name of jesus Hallelujah. the ministry of destiny help us all through this week i want you to pray cry out and say lord bring them I believe you will hear fearful testimonies in this place as a result tonight i've shown you a very mighty secret don't forget it too soon hold it every time you are praying over something the answer is in the hands of another person stop beating about the bush every man and every authority can answer when God calls, yours is just to pray that God will connect you. Praise the Lord. Mercy is a weapon and you are about to use it now. Ha! And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said, is this not a reed? that I have taken out of fire and he said the Lord rebuke you listen the mercy of God is a weapon you can use it and say Satan Satan I know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this I present to you the mercy of God I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the Father standing and speaking i present to you the sinless blood i present to you calvary shake your voice invoke mercy invoke mercy repeat every voice voice of I know I've not been a tighter. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. You should be destroyed. But the blood will speak. Hear me. You live the wayward life. And all kinds of things happen. And the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood. When I see the blood. You were involved in all kinds of blood covenants 
and fraternities in ignorance but now that you are in christ when i see the blood lift up your voice and plead the blood hey! in what mess mercy come on now Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given. But tonight, plead the blood. It can blot it out. Come on now. It can blot it out. Blot was he praying hear me a cause causeless shall not stand a cause causeless so if the blood of jesus takes away the legal access the effect must leave me to open your mouth and declare every pattern you have been blotted, blotted you live my life Patterns of barrenness, patterns of failure. Come on now, Koinonia, are you praying? find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say oh you once in, were in the world you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking and that's why your life is not moving it should not move but now that you have invoked mercy it makes the cause causeless that means it should not come again 
are we together you stole money help them please and all of that you destroyed another person's destiny but but now that you are in christ what of the blood he showed me joshua the high priest please take seriously this is what i did for my own life oh let me tell you for we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom i want to pray for you but we're going to pray one more prayer point hear me and say i begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past alienated from witchcraft and causes and yoke by the blood of the eternal God Koinonia, you pray alienated every biological deformity every genetic deformity pray every yoke that made you S.S. that made you A.S. that gave you hepatitis you must go tonight the spirit of the Lord but your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. I'd like you to pair yourselves into three. Find someone who is serious. Anybody who is not praying, leave him alone. Pair yourselves into three. Three, three. And you are going to, for the next two or three minutes, I'd like you to blast in tongues non-stop. This month of July, we are declaring war over the gates of darkness. Lift your voice and pray that a threefold cord cannot be easily broken. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Lord, the gates must open. Lord, my destiny must be revived. My spiritual life must be revived. My finances, my family, arise, O oh God of heaven. My ministry is time to break forth on the left, on the right. Pray, 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 pray. Sabara Samara Koto Sobash, Lakatapa Kora Sadabalakash, and the Kato Sandabalakos.
Alléluia. 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 You are going to pray. You are still holding the hand of the person. Father, enough is enough. What kept my father? Kept my mother. Lord, I come by the message of God. It must break in my life. Lift your voice and cry. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, enough is enough. Enough of failure. Enough of poverty. Enough of burying my loved ones. Something has to break loose. Enough of struggling ministry. Enough of struggling my spiritual life. Pray, pray, pray. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire, fire burn in this place. Pray. Shaka ta 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 ta. Raka ta ba ta sha ta. Empre ke te ke te ne kotos. Sing 
Jesus as we have thrown his majesty over all the works of darkness. minutes we are going to pray just two prayer points i'd like you to lift up your voice and declare that in the name of jesus i'm walking in the experience of the victory the victory that the blood of jesus the victory that the blood of jesus the victory that the death of jesus the victory of his triumphant resurrection lift your voice and declare Never will it become a prophetic reality. It is becoming my experience. Victory over generational curses. Victory over yokes and bondages. I've not, I've not taught it the next time we're doing deliverance and I'll be teaching you on all of the elements but one of the mysteries that produce true, de true deliverance is the mystery of the blood are we together? it's one of the three witnesses the Bible says and there are three witnesses that bear three that bear witness in heaven the Father, the Word and the Spirit it says that there are three witnesses this is where the problem is the earth it says the spirit the water and the blood are we together the bible guarantees us that the blood of jesus speaketh the blood of jesus speaketh that means you can cause the blood to advocate the blood of Jesus is an advocate. There is the advocacy ministry of the blood. The same way Cain killed Abel. Abel the man had died. But Abel the blood was speaking. And he cried. And God himself had to say no something is happening. Although the man had died. But the blood is still speaking. speaking. I'd like you to engage the blood. And say in the name of Jesus. I declare that I'm a partaker of the ministry of the blood i invoke the advocacy of the blood open your mouth and speak open your mouth and speak over every pattern over every curse over every yoke Jesus, Shabbat Shabbat 
the blood speaks the blood speaks over the ordinance of our fathers the blood speaks hallelujah but your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Going to pray. It's just going to be praying in tongues now. I want you to find a corner, my brother, my sister. Take your life serious. In the next five minutes, instrumentalists just charge the atmosphere for us. Blast in tongues and refuse upon Mount Zion. And it shall come to pass in that day. And it shall come to pass in that day. In that day. In that day. That the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Please pray, pray. Please pray. If you are tired, hold the hands of somebody that can agree with you. Pray for your destiny. Pray. Enough is enough, oh God. The victory of Christ, the work of Jesus on the cross, cannot be in vain. The substitutionary sacrifice of the Son of the living God cannot be in vain. Thank you. 
Hallelujah. We are going to pray. This prayer is a serious prayer. As we pray, sisters, I want you to lay your hands on your womb. As we are praying, brothers, just pray in tongues. I like you to declare that no seed of any entity that is not of God will find. I will not give birth to any stranger. No, leka toskata balata, shanaka toskata. Pray. No matter the ordinances of the fathers, no matter the enchantments of the ancient, I come by a new order and I declare my womb will produce that seed of the woman that will bruise the head of the serpent. I cause five broil. I cause five broil. Cause every devil. Sabatata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Brothers, I'd like you to pray. The spirit that keeps men in one place. You don't move forward. You don't move backward. You stay. No productivity. Every gentleman here, open your mouth and blast in tongues. Father in the heavens, this is better. Shabbataka toskata. The yokes, the altars, and everything that tie my life, that tie my destiny, by the mystery of deliverance, I challenge. I challenge it is upon Mount Zion the spirit that was failure. Hallelujah. Listen. Demons came into being when the spirit assist, assisted men. So your victory comes into being when the spirit assists you. It says, I am the God of Bethel. I have seen the oppression that Laban has done. The victory will not just happen. Forget about the physical things. In the realm of the spirit, you are going to cry for divine assistance. I provoke the ministry of angels over every affair of my life. Lift your voice and pray. Cry. Are they not ministering spirits? Are they not ministering spirits? My brothers and sisters, are they not ministering spirit? Send to minister for them that be the heirs of salvation. I call for assistance from heaven. Oh God of Jeshurun, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the deliverer. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Judging the wicked. Delivering the prophecy of God concerning my life.
Aleluia. We are going to pray. Every attribute of the flesh that gives access to any spirit in my life by the mystery of the blood, I declare that that door is closed forever. Lift your voice and pray. Come on. Lift your voice and pray. still pray I tell you I feel fire in this place listen everything God has shown you either as a revelation from his word or as a revelation from the realm of the spirit you're going to declare Jacob did not just see the spotted calves and left them in the realm of the spirit they had to come and interact the word must become flesh I like you to lift your voice and cry Jacob's katabata. Every anointing, every mantle, every mandate, every dimension, the prophetic, the apostolic, prosperity, increase, speed, deliverance that God has shown me. Lord, you showed me victory. I declare, I declare, I declare, it must find expression. are going to pray listen carefully whether you are an usher or not please if anyone is under the anointing or manifesting around you just help them are we together the very serious prayer we're going to pray now you are going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me it's time for you to come out it's time for you to go listen as you pray this prayer many strange things will start happening to you don't worry about it you just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens say in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the Lord I cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling I cast every spirit, I cast every devil, I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. My mind, my body, around my life, around Koinonia, 
in the name of Jesus around my family. If you are married, also pray for your family. Pray for your children. I cast every devil.
Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare that the sin of the fathers, the sin associated with my lineage, I declare that every mistake of the past, I plead the blood over it. Lift your voice and plead the blood. The ordinances of the fathers. Jesus, I stand on behalf of myself and my family and I declare that everything that the devil has taken away from us, we command that it must return tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Everything. Come on, believers, pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. You spirit. Behind the tragedies in my life. Say every spirit. Behind the failures in my life. Behind the delay in my life. Behind every retrogression. Behind every closed door. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Tonight. Your legal hold. Is broken by the blood of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. The spirit behind the sex cycles of failure. The spirit behind the cycles of defeat. Hallelujah. I want you to pair yourselves into two very quickly. Just find someone, find a neighbor somewhere. The next, our time is gone, but in the next three minutes, all I want you to do holding the hands of that person is to just bless in the spirit. Just pray in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Just go ahead and pray. Oh, my God. 
let my harvest locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray. Sabagatos, keta brakatos keta. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards me. He said, I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee to profit and leadeth thee in the way that you should go. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Stretch your hands. In the name of Jesus, I declare that these hands that are stretched towards me right now become the hands of fire. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please put your hand on your belly. Just put that hand there. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Put your hands there. The Bible says, for out of your belly shall flow rivers. Say in the name of Jesus. Every treasure within me, as I lay my hands, I declare, come out now. Lift your voice and pray. Every treasure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to round up. Don't mind all the prophetic acts you are doing. I want you to just trust my leadership. In helping you get results. Are we together? Are we together? I'd like you to stand where you are. And say in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to the north. Say it. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. Everywhere, Everywhere. My, help my help has been ordained, has been ordained to, come to come from. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. I, call I call you. Locate me now. Okay. Lift your voice and pray. It comes from God, but it passes through men. Send help, oh God. Send help, O God. Send help, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When a man is supposed to give you a job and gets angry because something happened and packs all the employment letter and shelves it and they forget about it for the next two years. The guy to help Joseph came out and forgot him for two years. It was after two years by the mercy of God, he said, I remember my wrong. So he acknowledged it was wrong. I pray whoever has forgotten you, that must remember you, may they remember their wrong and may they correct it. anointing and every grace that God preordained that should be resting upon your life, your ministry right now and by some activity of darkness it has not yet touched your head I declare, may that unction rest on you now may that unction rest on you now may 
May that unction rest on you now. Remember what I taught you about words. Never forget, words are dreams. God is serving you something. He's only using words. Are you ready to receive the prayer of favor again? Don't say you have said it before. Remember that they build and they prosper through the prophesying. Not once. Jesus, your Jesus, touched the eyes of a man. And he said, what do you see? This is the word touching a man's eyes. He said, I'm seeing, but I see men like trees. Jesus said, nonsense. He touched his eyes again. And he saw men clearly. If he, if he was left like that, listen. We want to we want to destroy the spirit that aborts complete miracles. So the miracle starts in your life but never finishes. Have you seen people like that? It starts in your life but never finishes. In the name of Jesus. Because according to scripture, if the hand of Zerubbabel starts a thing, that hand should complete it. I'm praying right now. Every miracle that has started, when Elijah saw the rain like the feast of a man's hand, it didn't stop as a feast. It became an abundance of rain. Therefore, I declare, what you have seen like the feast of a man's hand, it must come to completion in your life. It must come to completion in your life. So you get a job, but they say you need an interview. You pass stage one. You pass stage two. They even give you small pocket money and you are happy. It's almost as if you are employed. Then when the final list comes out, your name is not there. A lady sent me a text crying that a gentleman came and paid her dowry and ran away. What did he do? He paid her dowry and ran away. It's better that that lady were never married than the one that you gathered people. They paid your dowry. Then he ran away. Let me say it again. The Bible says, He that has begun this good work, except it's not a good work, what my God has started in your life, in the name of Jesus, it must come to end. Let me pray for your family. That in the name of Jesus, whatever has brought pain to your family, whatever has brought shame, whatever has brought distress, right now I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. We come from different families and we know the various challenges that we left from our different families. Therefore I prophesy to you right now, in the name of Jesus, that every challenge you left from your family, let that challenge be turned into a testimony now. Let it be turned to a testimony now. Let it be turned to a testimony now. Now, let me prophesy a very serious prophecy for you. Everything you saw from January that God vowed with his integrity in the place of your retreat, he showed you things. You know it's not guesswork. You know that God told you certain things. But you have not seen it come to pass. I release my faith with you. And I command October to deliver the result for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everyone who is in ministry here. I want to pray for you. Whether it's an evangelical ministry, you are a missionary, you are into a prophetic ministry, whatever is making it to not work, or whether it's a prayer group, a fellowship, I stretch my hands, I strengthen your hands in the spirit, fresh fire upon the work that you do. In the name of Jesus Christ, if there is anyone in anger, who made any pronouncement over your life? It could even be your biological parents. I stand here by the privilege of the prophetic and the apostolic and I declare that that statement is erased from your life. Those in business, 
I pray for you. I decree and declare. The spirit that brings fruitless labor. You labor so much and yet nothing comes to fruition. I cast that spirit from its root now. Let me pray again in the name of Jesus that everyone trusting God for a miracle job. I don't care how long you have waited. In the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name, I speak to you. May the Lord surprise you. The Lord is showing me a medical doctor that an appointment is coming for, from Abuja, one of the hospitals in Abuja. As I just prayed this prayer, I saw it in the spirit. We establish it now in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone, nobody has ever truly applied for a visa and gotten it in your family. It doesn't matter how many times they apply. And the reasons are legitimate. I speak by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. May the favor of God open the doors of nations for you. Hallelujah. One way the spirit of poverty, listen, eats up resources from people is through the mystery of terminal illness. Illness that your money must finish before the person now dies. Are we together now? It's a wicked spirit. Because you can't sit down and watch your loved one in pain. You will liquidate everything you have to help them. When the entire family is drained, then the person just goes. I declare, if there is anyone with any terminal illness that is sapping resources from your family, may the healing power of Jesus touch them and quicken them now. Favor is a spirit. I stretch my hands and I declare in the name of Jesus, from today, carry strange favor. Carry strange favor. Carry strange favor. In one minute, wherever you are, open your mouth and let's pray for Kaduna State. Blood sucking spirit will cost you. Pray. We declare peace upon our borders. Pray for the families that have been bereaved. Lord, by your mercy, let there be peace. We prophesy peace in Zaria, peace in Kaduna State, peace in Jos, peace in Adamawa, peace in Benway. In the name of Jesus, the rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous. We fortify our spiritual borders. Please pray. Don't be like Esther who ignored Mordecai. Don't be like Esther who ignored Mordecai. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Kaduna, hear the word of the Lord. Let there be peace. We pray for the spirit of love. We pray for the spirit of love. The spirit of unity. Christians, Muslims, free thinkers. That together in the name of Jesus, there will be a bond of peace. Hallelujah. I speak to everyone here. The covenant of protection. You have to know the blessings that accrue to this ministry that you are part of. I declare in the name of Jesus, the grace that has protected us, the grace that has protected this, this ministry, may that grace speak in your life. I forbid the earth, nor the sword, from receiving your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, 